welcome back to my channel. Today is the time for plant tour part two. This is at my mom's house. I'm going to be showing you all my plants and I hope you enjoy. And yeah, I'll talk to you at the end of the video. This is what you see when you come into my room at my mom's house. And we're going to start right where we come in and look at all the plants. Immediately in front of you when you come in, I have two cacti. I don't know which kind of cacti these are. Um, it's funny because this one used to be, oh, that's me in the mirror, hi. Uh, this one used to be really short and stout and grew like longer. Um, but yeah, I just kind of ignore them and they are fine. I don't know which kind of cactus, cacti they are. Um, they're different kinds, obviously, but I don't really know that much about cacti. If you do know, uh, feel free to tell me, but I feel like it's fine if I don't know anyhow because I just ignore them and water them. Then to the left across my dresser, I have a bunch of plants here. I have this one and it's, I think, a watermelon? No, it is a, a Peperomia ovata, maybe? Anyway, I'll put the name up on the screen just at, like I did in part one. Um, but I got this one at a second-hand store, actually. Um, and a lot of uh, pieces of the plant have broken off. Like, it broke off because it was leaning against something, whatever. But as you can see, there's a bunch of new growth here, here... Um, there also I think there's just a bunch of new growth everywhere so that's really cool and behind here I have a very sad looking succulent um, I think I might have actually watered it too little or too too much like I don't know I think it was just too inconsistent but um, the top looks fine now but it literally has no roots so I don't know what's happening there but you know it's fine and then I have probably my saddest plant. As you can see, it <laughs> only has one leaf. Um, I bought this at a supermarket, and all the leaves just like got burned. I put it too close to a window, and they all just burned and then rotted. It was really weird. And now I have this one. I think I also overwatered it in the beginning, but as you can see, it won't unfurl. And there's no new growth, so I don't know if this plant is going to make it. But it's an alocasia poly, I think. Um, but it's very sad. But, you know, I hope it will make it. Then I have this. Let me just get this plant out of the way. This is my string of tears. It's on towels right now. I know, very sexy. Um, because I don't have... A, well, I thought the pot had, like, a thing under it. So I could, like the water wouldn't go out of the drain hole, but it doesn't. And this one has some sad bits too. It got like kind of stressed, I think for a second being in a new house, but it also has some new growth there. So I think that one's pretty happy as well. And then in front of that, I have a plant that I got at the Plantarel uh, from Planta Asio Vorburg. And I got this pot for free. I had um, a free area with free pots, which was really cool. And I thought this one was really nice. And it has a drainage hole. But again, no saucer. That I, I need to go get a saucer for that. So yeah. But this is a Monstera Silta Pecana or Monstera Peru. And as you can see, it has new growth right there. And these leaves are so insanely beautiful. They're a little dusty, but you know, nobody's perfect. But they're so beautiful. And yeah, I really love that plant. And now, if you look above there, I have my um, philodendron, Hartley philodendron, just the standard one. And this is the prettiest side, I think. Um, I don't have a lot of light in this room. That's why my plants are all kind of closer to the window or on the side where the window is because it's a northwest facing window, so I don't get a lot of light in here. So I am looking for a grow light, so if you have any grow lights that you'd recommend and that are also not like insanely expensive and preferably also very energy efficient, um, let me know. But there she is. I love her. And then if we go across the wall here, I have these air plants that my aunt got me because I graduated uh, 
high school. I think they're for, yeah, they're for my graduation. I'm sorry, I forgot. And yeah, it's really cute. I know the, uh, I don't know the names like by heart, but um, I do know them. Oh, I think this one needs some water. I do know them. Um, I have them in my phone. And then this other one, and this is a Medusa, I think, a something Medusa. Obviously, because it looks like snake head. Ooh, that one needs water. Uh-oh, well, I'm going to go soak those this, to today. Um, and then I have this little um, succulent. Again, not sure about the name. I'm Senecaveria Echeveria, but otherwise, I really don't know about succulents and cacti. But, you know, it's really cute. And then this is right in front of the window, as you can see. Um, this is a Dracaena or Dracaena or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and it's the same one as my dad's, but as you can see, it's grown really crooked because I had it turned around and I had it slightly further away from the window. So now I'm trying to make it go straight again, but we'll see. Next to that, I have my, um, my Monstera Deliciosa. And I don't know why the leaves keep curling up like this. I'm not over or under watering, watering it. I have a moisture meter. I think it definitely needs more light. Like the leaves have come in split. There are split leaves. Um, but there's new leaves coming in now. Uh, one here and there's one on here that you can barely see, but you can probably see this one. Um, but if those don't come out split, I'm going to move it somewhere else because it's kind of the point of having this plant is that it'll get splits in it or fenestrations, I think they're called. And it has some really crazy uh, aerial roots. They go all the way here and it keeps shooting out more aerial roots. So I also really need to get it a moss bowl because I think that would make it very happy. Then behind here, I have a little um, jade, kind of jade plant, I think. Or uh, yeah, I think, I'm not exactly sure which one, just a tiny one. It's very cute. And then I have this um, Pilea peperomioides, Pilea peperomioides, our uh, pancake plant. Uh, well, that's what we call them in Milan. We call them Fonocuca uh, planta, so pancake plants. This one is doing really well. Uh, it keeps shooting up new growth. Um, and it's gotten quite big since I first got it. Uh, it's still it's still a small plant, but. You know, I'm really happy with this one. It's very easy, I'd say, and I like it a lot. And then behind that, I have this succulent that is hanging all the way over here. It has a huge stem, but all the leaves fell off uh, on the bottom of the stem, so now it's just here. Uh, I don't really know why it did that. I think overwatering, probably. Um, but you know, it's still really pretty, um, so yeah. And this is another Dracaena. I don't know which kind of Dracaena this is. It has like this lighter green stripe on the leaves. Also, this one's like a little sad. I don't know why. I think it needs water again. I just decide to film these videos when my plants need water. <laughs> um, trust me, I'm actually not a terrible plant mom. <laughs> I'm actually, I feel like I'm getting much better at this. Then I have these little tiny propagations of uh, my mom's really big jade plant. Um, they're still alive. They haven't really grown, but they're still alive, so, you know, that's something. And then I have my second ever uh, Fetonia, and this is just the standard green and white variety, I think. And it's, a, or it's often referred to as a nerve plant, too. I had one of these, but I murdered it. Um, because uh, I overwatered it in a pot that didn't have a drainage hole and it got root rot and fungus gnats and then I tried to propagate the whole, like put the whole plant in water with roots and all but obviously there was way too many leaves for the roots to sustain and then they just got really upset and then I had to throw them away. So <laughs> this is my second one and I'm doing pretty well with this one. It doesn't flop yet when it needs water but the leaves are like softer and when they're softer i water them and they perk up really quickly um so yeah i'm happy with that 
This is the other plant I got at the plant swap. It's in this really cute planter. I love this planter so much. <laughs> um, and I got this also at the Planta Rauf, uh, Planta Silvorber organized. And um, it's a kind of Tradescantia. I don't know which kind of Tradescantia. Then I have one of my oldest plants. And yes, it has some really crispy edges. But this is my aloe vera. I finally figured out how to take care of it now. It's pushing out new growth almost constantly. You can see there's new growth there. It actually has, it's actually two. There's this one in the front and then there's another one in the back. It pushed out a baby a long time ago. But I used to overwater it so bad and it got root rot and I was really upset. But now actually its roots grew so big that I had to repot it to this bigger pot. Um, so it's really happy and I'm really happy with it. And you can see all the beautiful patterns on it again. Um, so yeah. Then I have my uh, Hoya Australis Lisa. You probably saw this plant if you watched, well you, you saw this plant if you watched my um, last plant haul. And yeah, it's pretty much the same. Uh, that wasn't that long ago that I got this plant. And it's doing well. It's just adjusting. I kept it in the same hanger um, as I didn't have any small pots. I just uh, put some new earth in it with more perlite because um, I find that my plants are happier with more airy soil and the soil that garden centers use or the soil, if you just use prepacked soil, it's just too heavy. I'm also going to ex be experimenting making my own soil because um, I recently learned that actually soil is very unsustainable. Um, so yeah, I'll be making a video about that. Up here is my second Hartley philodendron. And this one I got from a friend of my mother's. And I just had a golden pothos that died and I thought then that this was the same plant, which it's not, but it does look very similar. Um, and she gave this one to me, which was really sweet. And it only had like three leaves when I got it from her and it's grown quite a lot. And the growth started getting a lot smaller, so I moved it closer to the window to hopefully stimulate larger growth. Um, but I think this one's so pretty. The leaves are so shiny. And I just love it in this little hanger. Then the last plant in my room here is my spider plant. And it's just there. It's low maintenance. I water it more than my other plants, I would say. Otherwise, the ends end up getting crispy. But yeah, it's pretty happy. It's still very young, so it didn't have any offshoots or anything. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with this plant. I'm now going to go to um, some other parts of my house where I have some more plants. Just because there's not a lot enough light for all my plants in this room. So I'm going to go show you those now. In this closet in our hallway, I have two more plants. I have this plant, which, oh, I forget what it's called now, but I do know it. I'm gonna put it on the screen, just like all the other plants. And yeah, this one is really pretty. This is uh, one of my earlier plants as well. And there's a plant behind it, and that's a Marble Queen Pothos. I hope you guys can kind of see that. Um, it has really pretty leaves. I really love this plant. Let me see if I can get it a little closer. There we go. I just think it's really pretty and it's trailing quite a lot. I just put it here because it needed more light and I wanted the variegation to stay. So yeah, that's what it looks like. This is some kind of Deschidia, I think. Uh, my mom got me this. I don't know exactly which kind of Deschidia. Again, I have it on my phone written down somewhere. I just don't know exactly. So I'm going to go look it up and I'll put it on the screen again. Then this is my Scindaptis pictus argerius. And this is my first Scindaptis. It needs water soon. It's still well, it's starting to curl, so not yet, but nearly. And it didn't do anything for like so long. And then I put it somewhere with slightly more sun. It just started pushing out new growth and this is the newest and it hasn't hardened off yet it's still as you can see it's much lighter than the uh, second newest leaf which is this one 
but yeah, and it's already pushing out. I don't know if you can see, but that's new growth right there. Starting to come through. I think it had, had four leaves when I got it. These four, I think, up to here. And then this one, this one, and this one are new. It's pushing out a new one. So when I push out the new one, it will have doubled in size. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that because it's literally a single cutting. It just doesn't have any... Uh, it's not like multiple cuttings in here. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that. I also have some plants downstairs in my mom's that are mine because I don't have that much light in my upstairs room. If you hear something in the background, that's my dog and his friend, who's also a dog, is coming to visit. But um, this is the plant you saw in the last plant haul as well. And I'm show you the other ones. By the way, the other one was uh, Calathea orbifolia. And then this is a very sad plant that I got in my Canocious books that was fine, but I treated it like a peperomia, even though it's a begonia. So I didn't water it enough, but as you can see, there's a lot of little babies starting to grow. And this, these look healthy. So I'm happy about that, but it had a really rough time, but it is recovering. And this is a, ooh, I can't think of the name right now, but it will be on the screen as always. This is my watermelon pepperoni that I think needs water because the leaves are curling up like this. Uh, if you have any care tips for this plant, please let me know because I just got this, so I don't really know anything about it. Um, but it's very cute. It's a very good size. Um, yeah. And then I got this little ginger plant from a friend of my mom's and her daughter. And their dog is actually visiting right now. Um, because I graduated um, high school and it's very cute. I actually planted ginger at my dad's too and then I got this one here so now I have ginger at both, both houses which is very cute. And yeah, I really like this plant as well. This one you guys probably saw if you watched my other plant haul too and it's the Venus flytrap. And yeah, it hasn't really trapped anything yet that I saw but it is putting out tons of new growth like this is new growth. That's new growth, here's new growth. This is the, oh, oh god, I'm trying to show you, but the other plant is in the way. Let me just get in there. This other one, this is the newest growth that has just come out and it's like, it's now like almost ready to open and start catching things. But there's a bunch of new growth, like there's more even here. I think there's more there. It, it grows really fast. So yeah, I'm gonna have some propagation here of some of the plants you saw upstairs. I have some experiments here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know down below what your favorite plant was. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about any of the plants, you can always ask me in the comments. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up and I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye! Bye.